It's meal prep time. Let's make some easy plant-based breakfast, lunch, dinner and snack that help you get 100 grams of proteins per day. Our high protein breakfast this week is the tropical overnight oats. Start by adding half a cup of rolled oats and a tablespoon of chia seed in each jar. Then add your favorite vanilla protein powder. For tropical flavors, I use some coconut yogurt, plain coconut yogurt, and some unsweetened shredded coconut. Add a bit of maple syrup for sweetness or any liquid sweetener you love. Some mangoes. I'm using some toad mangoes, but you can use fresh mango cubes and pineapple. And now add some soy milk for a boost of protein or use coconut milk for a stronger tropical flavor. The full recipe is printable on my website and it's linked in the video description. Stir everything together until smooth. Set the jars aside and prepare a tropical smoothie layer for the top of the jar. I'm adding some to de mango, pineapple and banana with a bit of vanilla extract and a splash of water into a blender. And I blend until it's smooth and form a sort of smoothie. If you want the layer to be thicker, simply add a bit less water than mine. This adds a delicious, refreshing flavor to the tropical overnight oats. It's absolutely amazing for summer. Add a bit more shredded coconut on top and keep in the fridge for up to four days. Eat the overnight oats cold. And play with flavor using different fruits if you like, like papaya or dragon fruit. My high protein vegan lunch this week is a vegan couscous salad. Start by adding chickpeas and carrots into a mixing bowl and add some spices. I'm using paprika, cumin, garlic powder. Drizzle some olive oil on top and toss everything to coat evenly. Bring a baking sheet with parchment paper and pour the mixture onto the baking sheet in a single layer. Bake for 15 minutes and meanwhile prepare a harissa yogurt salad dressing using some coconut yogurt, olive oil, lemon juice, some harissa paste which is very spicy you can choose mild hot or extra hot depending on your level of spiciness you love some fresh herbs i'm using mint and cilantro some salt and maple syrup for little sweetness stir everything together until it forms a thick and creamy salad dressing with delicious coconut yogurt and harissa flavors bring back the roasted chickpeas and carrot from the oven and cool down in a mixing bowl. You want this to be cold before adding to the salad. In three glass salad jars, divide the salad dressing at the bottom. Then add the roasted chickpeas and roasted carrots. Next, add some cooked pearl couscous. You can also use standard couscous if you like or some quinoa for more protein. Add some diced cucumbers, cherry tomatoes, green capsicum and baby spinach on top.
close the jars and keep in the fridge for up to four days. When you are ready to eat your salad, simply upside down on a plate, use a fork to release the dressing that might stick at the bottom of the jar, combine and enjoy. I found the lovely dragon fruit at the market and decided to make a dragon fruit chia pudding for my snack this week. It has a lovely pink vibrant color in New Zealand. Some of them might be white in the center and that's okay. You can use any dragon fruit you like for this recipe. Start by chopping the dragon fruit flesh into small pieces and mash with a fork. To make the chia pudding, start by adding chia seed at the bottom of each jar, then the mashed dragon fruit. The recipe is linked in the video description. Add maple syrup for sweetness or any liquid sweetener you love and some soy milk for a boost of protein. You can use almond milk, coconut milk, but they have less protein content. Stir everything nicely to blend the chia seed into the milk and the flavor of the dragon fruit. Close the jars and place in the fridge for about 20-30 minutes until it gets thick. Start by making the coconut yogurt vanilla layer by stirring coconut yogurt and protein powder together. Bring back the jars from the fridge and add the protein yogurt on top of the jars. This extra layer boosts the protein content of your snack and add a delicious creamy flavor to the chia pudding. Add some more dragon fruit and a bit of shredded coconut on top of the jars before storing in the fridge. I store the jar up to four days in the fridge and eat cold when the chia pudding has set. For dinner, I'm making vegan baked feta pasta with pinto beans and using my garden cherry tomatoes. Pour the tomatoes into a large baking dish and add a block of vegan feta cheese in the middle. Add some olive oil all over the tomatoes and the vegan cheese. And for flavor, add some dried oregano, dried rosemary, and some minced garlic. I do not add salt because the vegan feta cheese I'm using is very salty already, so it's better to add the salt afterwards. Toss everything together and flip the block of feta cheese to make sure it's covered with the oil. Bake for 35 minutes until the cherry tomatoes burst out and the vegan cheese has melted. Bring back from the oven and use a fork to mash the vegan cheese with the cooked cherry tomatoes and form a sauce. You can blend everything in a blender but actually I don't think you need to. It's so simple to just mash and stir everything with a fork. Stir in some beans. I'm using pinto beans. They taste amazing with the cooked pasta. And it adds a good bunch of protein to this easy vegan dinner. To make a high protein vegan dinner that all the family love. I store my pasta in glass containers. That I store in my fridge for four days. Or sometimes I freeze this dinner for up to a month. The day before, I place the frozen dish in the fridge and rewarm in the microwave. I like to serve this pasta dish with lots of fresh basil and a pinch of chili flakes. If you enjoy this high protein plant-based meal prep, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and push the notification bell to get notified every week I release a new meal prep for you guys. Enjoy!